<laughs> Gang, you see all that? Look at that, all that. Yeah, that's all my new Dresden books. I bought all of them. So I have all of them, and uh, now I can actually like read them one after the other. That's great. And side note, I've decorated the set just a little bit. Just a couple of Pokemon and stuff like that. I hope you like it. Now, back to your regular scheduled programming. Today, I reviewed Blood Rites by Dresden Files, by Jim Butcher in any case, and this is the sixth book in the Dresden Files series, and the first one I read on paperback. Now, this is one of the hardest Dresden Files books I've had to quantify, because it's sort of like two different entities. At the beginning, there's a sort of entity that is really a detective thriller sort of entity, and this is the kind of thing that Dresden really tries to be. A very quick-paced, flamboyant, interesting detective story with some magic on the side. But that isn't the only part of this story. On this story, we have a more personal aspect that diverges from the thriller aspect to present something that is almost completely opposite to it in a area that is almost, you know, divorced from the other side. So we kind of have two different stories here until at the end they kind of join up. But I think that they're joined up in a kind of sloppy way. But essentially, we would consider them two separate entities. That's the best way to view these, I think. And this is the only book that does that. Now, I think I did mention that this happened in another book, but I can't even recall what that book is, so it must not have been too divorced. This one is very clear divorced. Now on one hand the thriller aspect of it was absolutely I think it's the worst story we've gotten so far. Not that it's awful but it's really it lacks anything interesting going on with it. Right at the beginning we're introduced to this action-y thing and from there we're supposed to move forward in a pace that's really exciting and interesting and big and that just never happens. Instead we're introduced to a bunch of really slow moving parts. They're interesting yes but at the pace that we're going and how uneventful they are, even though they are interesting technically, they're not very good as a plot. Another reason why is because they're interspersed with very familial elements, so there's a lot of really interesting stuff going on like a suspense thriller, but in between these major plot points, which aren't really major to begin with, they're actually very minor, we have these very interesting introspective areas. Now these two plot lines don't really affect each other too much until the very end, and so when I'm going through this, I found it to be extremely boring, uh, extremely juvenile, especially the exciting plot points, I found them to be very juvenile and I found them to be uh, lacking the very specific character that Dresden has in this very deep, uh, eventful, fun, slapstick kind of an area. There's a very specific tone that Dresden has, and while going in this route, in Blood Rite specifically, it felt like it was a big letdown compared to what we had before. Before it was at some points fine, some points great, but here it was just not as good as it could have been. It was really on an upward trajectory, Dresden so far, and so seeing this part, it kind of felt really sad. But that's the negative. I do want to talk about the positive because this is probably the second or third best introspective plotline that we've had so far. It has a lot more revelations, a lot more impactful revelations that sweep through the entire series and makes you view it in a different light. I wouldn't exactly consider it introducing something new because while it does do that, that's not the point of it. It's sort of flipping the script on something that we already had. And by doing that, we really injected a really brutally honest and powerful message and theme into something that we already thought was maybe interesting, maybe boring, was kind of on the borderline of that. By this point, we've elevated this really, uh, what do you say, minor plotline, a minor, boringish, normal plotline into something that's very big and very important and so interesting to the story. And so that aspect of it was once again done very, very well. I got a comment on another Dresden Files video where somebody mentioned that this isn't really a detective story per se. And I, I think I can agree with you. It seems that this is more of a uh, urban fantasy uh, type of thing. And I think that's a better way to cover it instead of mystery or anything like that. Uh, but it is definitely a thriller. That seems to be the point of the story is to thrill and be really exciting throughout it. Which is why it's so short and why it's so interspersed with action and events and so much big stuff. That's why it really is told in the old western type of fashion. It seems to be a very exciting thriller. That's the point of it. And so in that front, it does actually fail quite a bit in this book. Now I've seen some people not very much like this book, but that makes sense to me. Um, some people really love it and I understand that as well. And I can really understand both of these sides because on one side, if you really love Dresden for the thriller suspense uh, type of story that it is, you're not going to enjoy this too much. However, if you enjoy Dresden for the the introspective deep story that it contains within the big explosive plotline, then you're gonna love this. It has both. So once again, on one side, it's very introspective and very fun. Uh, not as much as maybe other books like I've seen. Uh, Death Masks had a very, very introspective aspect to it that I found way more interesting, but this is maybe second or third. And on the other hand, it's not a very exciting thriller. It's not a very exciting story just because it didn't go in a very fresh direction, in a very big direction. It kind of went for a very small, 
uh, sort of contained story that eventually exploded out to something else that it felt a little bit more different than it should have been. I wouldn't consider it sloppy because I don't feel like it was really badly told. Just that the event itself, the idea itself, didn't have enough merit to it. And so it, it's not a very great story is what I'm trying to say. And because it fails to be great, for me, in my books, it doesn't even fail to be good. Uh, I want a story to be great, to be awesome in every single way, in order for me to give it even a positive rating uh, to normal standards. But in this case, I think that I'm going to give it a one star. I completely understand that some people don't quite understand what my rating system is and so for those people I'm gonna explain it one star is a sub average book I would consider this a sub average book even though it had a very great introspective aspect I feel like that one plot point couldn't carry the rest of it and otherwise there wasn't really some awesome stuff in it it felt, it felt very confusing particularly towards the climax and it's very small things here and there that really make me feel like the entire story was not developed enough. It wasn't as big or as exciting as it could have been. Now there's a sort of writer rule that you can't just take one good idea and turn it into a book. You need to have multiple great ideas in order to flesh out a really good book. And in certain cases, Dresden has had maybe two or three really great ideas and the rest of them good. That seems to be a very average way of looking at Dresden. In this book in particular, it felt like there was one pretty good idea and the rest of them weren't even good. And so that's why I give it a one. It feels below average and for that, uh, I, I'm not even a fan. That's why I give it a one. If it's one star, it's below average and that's, that's my rating system. Apologies for the lack of videos. I'm working on something very, very big and I'm hoping that people like it quite a bit. Uh, it is a King Killer related video, Doors of Stone specifically, and I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been working really hard on it. I actually wrote a script. I'm gonna edit it really, really hard and uh, maybe stick around if you wanna see that. It's gonna be about publication process and stuff like that. So if you're interested, stick around for that. Now the next book that I'm gonna be reading is called Dead Beats and it's been a while since I actually picked up Dresden. I'm recording this review way after I finished it. I've actually read like four Sandman books in between. So I'm gonna get back to that and then I'm gonna go into Earthsea once again, just to read a couple more books. And then I'm gonna move back to some other stuff because Rhythm War is coming out soon. Uh, I've got a lot on my plate, so please just subscribe if you're interested in any of that. I hope to get out Deadbeat next week, uh, but maybe that's not gonna happen. Now I said that I would do a review for Battlegrounds when it came out. Now seeing as how I'm such a slow reader, I don't know if that's gonna be the case. I'm gonna try my best, I'll see what I can do, uh, but I've got so little time and I'll, I'll, I'll try my best, I'll do what I can. We'll see what happens, but uh, please do subscribe because I will be finishing all of Dresden before moving on to another major series, unless, of course, I'm still reading it by November. So we'll see what happens for there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below and subscribe. If you enjoy my style, my editing, my personality, my hat, my background, anything like that, leave me a comment. I would love to know what you thought of this book in particular and what you thought of my review of the book. Did you feel it was unfair? Do you think that it was actually one plot line? And because of that, it should have been elevated to a bigger level. It did feel a little bit big at some places, but I, I don't know. Maybe you guys want to argue with me on that i would love to argue and talk to you guys about that in the comments down below you can also follow me on goodreads in the link in the description and uh, other than that i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye